Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Always VFX. My name is Abdul Rahman and today I am going to show you how to design this beautiful slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. The first step is to create the pillars. Go to blank slide, insert tab, go to shapes, select rectangle. We will draw a rectangle like a pillar which is something maybe this much tall enough. In the format tab, go to shape outline, say no outline, right mouse click, go to format shapes, select gradient fill, use the color gray or any other color which you like, select some more stops, going to use this color. I'll add some more here, go to more options, more colors, reduce the color, yeah. Okay. Alright. The second step is to create something like this. Select the rectangle, press Ctrl D to duplicate and reduce the size. Yes. Now go to Format Shape, FX, Shadows and select this shadow. Right, create one more, press Ctrl D, increase the size or width, yes. What we are going to do now, we are going to replicate this one for the other pillars. Select all, press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it one here, Ctrl D bring it somewhere here sorry select this and bring it here okay the pillars are ready now the third step is to create the roof like this select one of this one press ctrl D place it here, increase the, okay, right, go to insert tab, shapes, select triangle, Okay, we'll give the same effect, just select one of this one, go to home, format, painter, press this one, right. I'm going to create one more uh, triangle, Control D, go to format, tab, shape outline, give this color, maybe good, and go to weight, increase the point, something like maybe this is enough six points and shape fill say no fill reduce the size okay go to effects shadows and select this one offset top left right I'm just going to switch off the grid lines and guides. Okay, just bring this down. All right. To create the steps, go to Insert tab, Shapes, select Rectangle. 
okay shape outline no outline and shape fill we are going to fill as a gradient fill all right press control d to create the next step go to insert tab shapes and select a right triangle i'm just going to rotate this one maybe it's okay press control d to have a duplicate copy of this now bring to the second step and place it somewhere here i just increase the size okay select the second step first and then select a triangle the right triangle in the format tab go to merge shapes select the subtract okay like this right and select this one come to this side okay and do the same thing select the step first select the triangle again format merge shapes say subtract and bring this down you can see the shape now shape of the steps again select the the we want to create a third step select this first step press control d go back here will group this press to use the size okay bring this down and the format say bring to front right Okay friends we are almost there now we have to just change uh, somewhat the appearance of the steps we can select this one and you can play with the the gradient stops right the steps are ready now the next uh, thing is to do to create this one 20% 55% and this fill effect which is 85% so let's go here i'm just going to select this one press control d reduce the size i'm just going to change the color of this one i'm going to use some more blue color Okay. With this color I'll just reduce the brightness. As well as this one. Right. Go to insert tab shapes select the oval shape and draw it somewhere here shape outline no outline and the color is blue or just bring this down all right okay I'm just going to add some text here. 
in the insert tab text box I'm going to say this is like 35 percent make it bold and pin this here all right the last part is to do some beautification work we'll start with uh, a shadow effect for the pillars select the pillar press ctrl d and bring this somewhere here down reduce the size right mouse click edit points we'll just increase the so that it can be see better okay do the same thing for the next step as well which is edit points Okay, do the similar steps for pillar 2 and 3. Let's add some uh, background effects. Go to insert tab, shapes, select the rectangle, draw it here, shape outline, no outline and you can give some different dark colors and send to back. We'll add one more, press Ctrl D, change to a gradient fill, I'll use the linear, Okay. Make one more, press Ctrl D. Select picture or text fill. Select file. And I'm going to select some pictures here. And transparency level, I'll just reduce it select this one send to back send to back give some headings here That's it from me friends. If you like this video, please comment and like and don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX. Thank you very much.